Hey guys, um, welcome to my channel and today, tonight, is it nearly night time, tonight I'm going to make a fish curry. Um, I've got a fish here already cut up, it's a mullet, you know, tipsy mullet, my favorite fish to eat it raw. So what I'm going to do with fish, I already cut it up and all done that to it. Um, now I'm gonna put it in the smoker. I'm I'm not gonna cook the fish in the smoker. I'm just gonna um, put it in the smoker to have to get a flavor, the smell of the smoker. And and I'm got all these things to show you in a minute. So I'm gonna put this in the smoker. I can see from far away. And I'm putting this in the smoker. I just want the flavor of the smoke. I turn it down. Um, yeah, and um, I'm gonna cook a curry. I'm making a curry with all this spice. You see? And you should write this down, you know, because I can't say it at all. Uh, spice. I'm gonna put all these spices in my curry, and some of them's already um, grind up, like a uh, smoky paprika, um, nut grounds, you know. It's already grind up, so I'm gonna have to um, go through this. I'm gonna put some turmeric, you know, the fresh. Turmeric, like just like a tincture. We got curry leaves. We have um, tincture. I peel that up. Um, cloves of garlic. Three onions. So I'm gonna put all this in our curry. Um, capsicums, the red and the green ones. But yeah, it's um. We're going to take this a while for a slowly cooking curry. We fast forward it when it's ready. So um, I've got this little... Oh, did you hear that? Sorry for that noise. Little crunch. Because we're going to... I'm going to roast some of this. In a pan and then grind it up. The same as the garlic and tincture and... Um, Paprika and our green chili. Yeah, this is not so. Some of them are so spicy. Some of them are not so so spicy. So we got we're ready to go and um. We got the um fish in there. We're not cooking the fish in there. We just um. Letting the fish get a smoke flavor. Okay, as you see, the smoke is um. Sending some smoke. <laughs> Okay guys, um, we're gonna start. I'm gonna go with this. Um, I'll be back in a minute, I'll go and get a spoon. Hi hey guys, welcome back. Um, I've got a little mixer here. And I smashed it up before and it'll make a big noise. So what I'm gonna do, um, the star thing. I'm just going to put two in there, in the bowl, um, this, see I'm going to have to cr crunch it all up, just a teaspoon of that, a teaspoon of everything, no, a teaspoon, um, coriander seeds, make sure you write all these down, if you want to follow my recipe, otherwise you can do your own. Um, some of that a teaspoon, and maybe a little bit. I like that one. Um, yeah, and then, um, a little bit of a little, little bit of salt. And I'm gonna crunch this up. Now we take our time because our fish is smoking and 
sorry because I've got my camera on top of the same tank where I'm cooking up, so it's going to be shaking around. You just um, take your time crunching it up, make sure it's all mixed and turn into a really good powder and really good spicy thing. You don't have to be a powder. I can smell this. Smells beautiful, I like. You know, all that mix of spices. You can even um, cook this up, you know, to put your things on a fry pan, heat it up, and like give it a bit of smoky flavor. But that's why I'm smoking the fish, and I've got smoky um, paprikas and everything. And uh, some of that not make already. And we take your time, put your flavor in. Because I'm gonna mix it, um, crunch it all this up, and then put it in a tray. And it's gonna go into our curry when it's fried with oil. And I'm gonna use this again. Um, noisy job. <laughs> Something that um, when the kids are around, they've got no repair to do, then we tell them all, okay, son, you've got nothing to do, okay, you can see there and I'm crunch this off. But you don't have to crunch it all the way down to the powder. You know, you need those seats and those um, to be beautiful and, you know. You can see, it's all mashed up. Oh, that thing, don't let it run away. Yeah. Doing that, we're waiting for our fish to smoking up. I'm not cooking the fish in there, I said it again. I just need a smoke flavor to get through, go through the fish, and then I'll take the fish out. Okay. I think I already mixed this enough. And that's our spicy meat mix. Okay. Now I need to mix my tincture. A couple of cloves of garlic go in there. That mix is going to be wet. Um, got a lemon grass. I'm gonna peel the rough skin out and bring out the fresh lemongrass inside of it. And just give it a rough cut. It's dark out here, it's getting night time now. Birds are going to bed. It's a bit of lemongrass, not too much. That's the flavor, better teacher. You cut it up. This is like our paste for our curry. Rough chunk of ginger. Cut it up, goes in there. Um, what's the main thing for our ingredient? Um, this um, turmeric, a fresh turmeric. Let's give it a rough scrape on the skin. Skin's very good for and healthy for you. I just give it that little rough scrap and then cut it up. I use a whole piece and later on if you need more colour you can crunch up some more. Yeah, put it in there and use a stick again. See? Makes me think that we need a picker. A picker, um, one of this. Got a pinch of salt, and I'm gonna put oil in there because this is the base of our curry. 
by the grape oil. You can use any oil, but I'm using the grape grape seeds oil. And keep burying. If you find it is getting hard on the bottom, um, you can always use a spoon to take it around and bring it back up, and then going around again and. It's getting really good. Yeah. My cameraman's not very good to so come close to. To show you guys the, what, um, how we mix these things. I hope you're enjoying your night. <laughs> Bit more oil. Helping the squashing that garlic, ginger, lemongrass, um, what do you call um, everything together. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with this and I'll show you the result later. I put on for the fish and I'll come back to show you how our cars can pick up. Okay guys, we'll be back. Hi guys, um, welcome back. Now I've got my stove on. We're going to put a wok on and now we're going to fry off some spices that we mixed before. Um, some of this um, turmeric, fresh turmeric and things. I know there are um, ants all around me that are um, sneaking and listening but do we really need to listen to it? No, let's put your head down and focus on what you're cooking, what you're making and it will taste good and taste better for your family <laughs> and the end result is going to be yummy anyway so our fire pans, our stove is on low, our wok's on uh, heat. We'll put some grape seeds oil to fry our spicy off. The first I'm gonna add is our spicy, you know how we mix our spicy. And just give that little stir. We cook it slowly, as spicy, and you know, if you need more oil, you can add more oil. And I think we need more oil. And cook it slowly. Until you fall asleep and wake up the next day. Oh, this is still gone. <laughs> Okay, it smells beautiful that spice. Now all those spices I show you before and you have to write it down. That's what it smells like. I'm cleaning this little rock off. And you hear the spray. And look. Let's scrape all that out. The turmeric, the ginger, the lemongrass. It's all in there. For our curry. Oh, still heaps more in there. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay. Yeah. It's going right. I'm going to turn it down. Yeah, I need to turn it down. It's okay, look. Some spices are really looking like it's um, overcooked, but don't worry. It's going to take a whole night. It's so spicy. The stove's turned down. Well, what I'm doing now, get my dropping ball back. Put three 
crown onions. I already peeled them. Just cut them up. Smells so good in here. Once all the onions cut up, I can rev the heat up again and um, do it again. I don't know if the neighborhood's screaming at me or the, or the people in my house. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I need to, there's a moth coming around. I'm going to need to turn the oven up. Stove up a little bit more. Yeah. We need to fry everything. The onions, the sp spices, the put one more onions to that. Got our fish in the smoker already. We have a lot of flavor of smoker in it. So we can put we just sit in it, live in, sit in the smoker for now. That's our car, you know, that's our car based. Because this car is got a peaches, coconut, and um, coconut cream and fish. Let's let it cook. Oh, it smells so good, and then it. Uh, it's burning my eyes. One drink green chili. It's just gonna cut it up in circle. Round pieces. Just roughly. Green chili. And let um let it fry. Maybe I need more heat. I'll wave up the stove. Yeah. Just getting more heat. Keep your head away from the above the fry pan because all that spice is gonna burn your eyes, you know. Okay. I'm going to add, I'll try my spoon, some smoky paprika. Write it down. Just a teaspoon. And if you need more, like you are spicy first, then you can eat more. But for me, just that spoon. Okay, I've got something else. I already grind up. We get them from a uh, fresh nuts, but we can um, already get one already grind up. And one spoon of that. One teaspoon goes in there. Okay. This is the pace of our guy. Yeah. Take your time, slowly cook it. If you need more oil because it's an oil base to cook all the spices. Yeah. Keep stirring it. And have a sip of your drink. And start thinking what's next. I need everything in here before the coconut cream comes along. And then cook the coconut cream until the oils start coming out of the coconut cream and then we add our fish and then we add the rest of the things.
Okay, we've got some curry leaves. You can get them from your veggie shop or, you know, put them in there. Then keep cooking your curry. It's a beautiful night tonight. I started when the, um, the sun's going down. You know, the sun's really down. Can you hear the curry leaves are popping? And the smell is beautiful. Put a bit more um, grape seed oil. A couple of drip of um, fish sauce. A couple of drop of, if I can open this thing, yeah. um, sesame oil. Just a little bit. Because the flavor of this is me, or oh, it can take off everything. Okay, this is our base for our curry. We still need to cook the spices through everything together with everything. With the onion, everything. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down on low to let it cook when I'm cutting up some of our vegetables. Just a red capsicum and green capsicum. Okay, I'll, I'll turn our stove down a little bit. Um, another thing I need to do to add more in there is um, what do you call these things? Um, the one we make a curry out of it, um, turmeric. We need more turmeric in there to make, to put the color in our color curry, and to give it the flavor of our curry. You see, I don't buy any curry from any curry shop. I just work with fresh stuff. Okay. Soon enough our coconut cream is going in there. Can you see? It's cooking slowly. Bit more curry leaves because the flavor in them are beautiful and makes it all up. That's why they call it curry leaves. And keep us turning. Maybe if it's starting to dry out, add more oil. Top of that, I don't think I need any more. Huh? That's it. Now what I'm gonna do now is we got our tincha, everything in there, lemongrass, chili. I think I'm gonna put another green chili in there. I've got a red chili growing right next to me. But I think Green chili is giving the flavor of the curry, but it's not so hot. But the red chili is hot, hotter. So I'll put another one more chili in there. Now, let's stir it. And it's time for the coconut cream to go into the curry. Can you see that? Yeah, just don't um, fuck up our gem. I usually buy the thick coconut cream. Yeah. In a garden, not a... Most of the people buy in the tin, but the tin coconut cream is, I find it as 
it tastes doesn't taste like coconut cream and it's too watery now half quarter of this kind in there and then let it cook can you see that beautiful color of our jumic the green chilies everything it smells so beautiful so now let it bring it to boil and let that green um, coconut cream to cook and I want some of the oil that come out of coconut cream so let it cook cook it down and whether our curry cream is doing that our curry base is doing that um, I've got time to cut up some Capsicum. You can put tomato, any vegetable in there, but I decided I just want to green capsicums and red capsicums. So, enjoy your night and keep watching. <laughs> Cheers, guys. It's beautiful to cook out here. It's getting warm up in Australia and it's getting to like a summertime. And yeah, it's not mozzy, no mozzies yet. And no crickets yet. Okay, let's cut up some zucchinis. Not zucchinis, um, capsicum. Some of us, they call it pepper. You know, the green pepper or the red pepper. Capsicum. English people got lost with their own words so they come up with maybe half India or half that's why we're making a curry <laughs> our fish is in there can you see our coconut cream is getting thick and once the, it's draining out the oil of the coconut cream is coming out through all the spicy and once that done and happening we get our fish in there and put the rest of the coconut cream in it and then we can add our capsicum and in five minutes from then we turn it off and eat it with rice anything but at the moment I'm working on our capsicum just cut it in half get a inside the seats off and Keep going. And keep your eye on our curry paste. That is just beautiful. Oh, I can start smelling that coconut is starting to reduce and giving a uh, flavor to our the smoky, the earthy flavor to our curry. Okay, let's keep going with that caps again before our fish is going into our curry. Hope you guys having a good night or whatever wherever you are good day good luck with everything when life gets hard it will get harder before it gets better so hang in there do your thing do what you love to do help others and don't worry if you can't help There was always the next day. There you go. I keep cutting my things. Give it another stir or now. Look how thick that is. Look how thick it is, how spicy and how spicy it is. Crazy in the front of me. Try to open a gate. If it's in night time, maybe she'll get bit by a um, bubblegum. <laughs> there you go. I'm putting um, three capsic green capsicum in there and three red ones. And later on, I'm going to put some of the um, what I call those things the green, um, yeah. 
I'm cutting this roughly. I mean roughly is rough. Just long pieces or if you want to cut as small it's up to you. But what I'm keep going with the cooking. Um yeah, you love it? Yeah. That's good. That's I'll put a bit, one more drop of fresh coconut cream in there. Now it's time for our fish to come in there. Uncle, I hope it's going for dinner. Hmm? I hope it's going for dinner. Mm hmm? We're making a... I hope we're making a whole street hungry. Now, um, where's my tongue? Do I have a charm somewhere here? Maybe not, maybe I don't know. Now, you yeah, guys have got our fish. You see our fish has been smoked. See that? Like a letter. And now it's going into our... And the fish head and yum yum yum, you know? Don't be scared to put a fish in there, it's, it's the next, it's another day. You know, when you wake up and think, oh, I want some more of that guy. Well, you got it. All the fish goes in there. You see the juice left by the fish? That's all the smoky flavor of the fish. Put it in there. Now, let it come to boil. And come to their sense. And let a fish come to their sense and realize, oh, I mean a curry. They call it a fish curry. <laughs> mm. Okay, guys. Um, our fish is sort of half cooking now, smoker. You know, this is, is this fish has been smoked for the smoke. Now. For the rest of our coconut cream. Don't be scared. You serve this with rice and I'm gonna wave our heat up a little bit. Give me a chat. Yeah. Now can you see how the our yellow car is popping through the coconut cream? We need more of that. Look how beautiful that car is. And let it keep going. Because we need the juice. It's got to be more juice come out of that fish. Because we didn't cook the fish 